If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It is free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You are now listening to Discover Your Potential with radio talk show host Dan Gilman, Cindy Gilman's son. So listen, participate, be inspired, know that you can discover your potential. Here is Dan Gilman. Welcome, everyone. This is Dan Gilman, and I'm here with Mary Terhune is here with me today. And I'm really excited about the, this is the addendum to the first part uh, of the show. Hi, Mary. It's good to have you back. Uh, Dan, nice to be back with you. And uh, so today we wanted to uh, not only discuss uh, your your book, which we didn't really get a chance to discuss in length last week. Mm. Uh, and also we want to discuss to your, your relationship with Wayne Dyer and, and also mm -hmm. your website as well. So, um, let's, we, let's start with, uh, out of the blue, actually, I have, I have this okay. copy. You can explain. Yeah, that. I will. So at any rate, before I met Wayne and before this book was, the book was published by Hay House, I had published my self published version of out of the blue back in. 2007. And the reason that I even wrote this book was that in 2006, I had a fatal heart attack and actually died on the doorsteps of a hospital, was brought back. And it was so uh, severe that it took me a year to recover. And in that year, I really couldn't do much. So I really felt I should write this book out of the blue. Um, to share the amazing spontaneous spiritual awakening I had, awakenings I had, that started in 1984. Um, and not only that, but by this time I had a grandson and he had come to me in a dream when he was a little baby. And I write about this in the dedication. And in the dream as a little baby, he was laying in his crib and I walked over to him and all this light was pouring out of him. And he spoke these words to me. I'm going to read it. God is consciousness. I am consciousness. Everything is consciousness. The people need to know. I'm glad you're here with me, Mary. I like the name Mary. Hmm. And so in many ways, I felt I couldn't leave this earth without granting his wish that I write about. That's what I took it as his wish that I write about what happened to me and the consciousness of divinity that I opened up to and had, how that impacted, impacted my life and my whole experience of the medical field as, an, as a retired RN. And so, um, that, so in 2007, I self-published this book. Of course, it didn't go much anywhere, but it was on Amazon, available on Amazon. And in six years later, um, I happened to be talking with a colleague of mine who asked me, well, what, I, I said, you know, I think I need to do something else with this book. And she goes, well, what would you like to see happen? And I said, I would like everyone to, to be able to read it. And she said, well, then you're going to have to send it to somebody like, oh, I don't know, Wayne Dyer. And so I said, really? And she said, yes. So. That was a Monday. I went to the post office. I mailed the book to Wayne Dyer. I didn't have his address, but I knew that he lived in Maui. So I addressed it, Dr. Wayne Dyer, best-selling author, Maui, Hawaii. Wow. And to my shock, apparently it arrived five days later on a Friday, that Friday. And that night, I happened to be staying up very late, and I never stay up late but I was watching this video and I was so engaged in it that I didn't recognize it was midnight. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden my phone is ringing and I 
And you know how that is. The phone rings at midnight and you think something horrible has happened. I didn't recognize the number, but for some reason I, I took the call and I picked up the line and, and it said, hello, Mary. And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, this is Wayne Dyer. And I was so shocked and stunned. I just said, oh, hi, Wayne. <laughs> you know? And he says, I want you to know that I got your book. And I never open up books because I, I never even open up the envelopes usually because I get hundreds of people, people sending me books. And I just pile them up and give them to the library. But because you addressed it, Dr. Wayne Dyer, best-selling author, Maui, Hawaii, and it got to me, I was so amused that I opened up your book. And the chapter that touched his heart was my uh, explanation of my experience of self-realization. And he said that it was the best uh, written explanation of self-realization he has ever read in his 30 years. And he said, and I've read them all. Uh, and then he said, I'd like you to come to my divine love seminar in Maui in January. That would be 2014. And of course I said, yes. And he goes, I'd like you to be a sort of a surprise guest. I said, fine. So, um, I went to his uh, seminar and um, it was an amazing experience. There were other authors there, of course, speaking. And I got to, um, to speak with brief people briefly and answer questions. So that was quite an experience with Wayne. And we spent like three days together, all of us, the, all, the, all the other speakers there. And I, mm -hmm. I will tell a story about, in part two, I'll tell a story about what happened uh, with one of the speakers and her that she actually wrote about in this book because on the stage when at the uh, seminar uh, Wayne read the entire chapter of self-realization in this book and it took about 20 minutes and when he was about to read it he said uh, I'm going to read this chapter on self-realization and I have never read from another author's book before ever and it's going to take about 20 minutes. And when he finished reading it, he said, don't you wish you could meet, because I was a surprise guest, don't you wish you could meet this author, the person who wrote this? And people are going, yes, there was about 600 people in the room. Wow. And um, they're going, yes, yes. And he goes, well, it just so happens she's here. And so he invited me up on stage. And then he announced that Hay House would be writing another um, edited sort of uh, expanded version of this book that Hay House would be publishing it. And that's how this book got published. Now, the story behind this is mm. it got published in November, 2015, but Wayne died three months before in August, much to everyone's shock. And, yeah. and of course, everyone was very saddened by it. Um, so he was the one who was really the promoter of this book. And he, he was the one who promoted all the new authors who were coming to Hay House. And without him uh, promoting this book, uh, it never got promoted. So it did come out. It was printed in November of 2015. But, but since he was the one promoting it, it never got promoted. So fast forward six years later, mm -hmm. Um, I realized I needed to do something else with this book. And I really wanted to get my rights back if it wasn't going to go anywhere because I still felt I was fulfilling my grandson's desire that the people need to know about this consciousness, this divine consciousness. Mm -hmm. And um, as it turned out, uh, an entertainment lawyer contacted me, this woman, oh. out of the blue. <laughs> contact him. He calls me up and says, listen, I heard your, I heard you give a talk on mm -hmm. one of the radio stations here in Boston. And she said, you're the real deal. She said, I really like what you have to say. And I was explaining to her about my book and she goes, I'm surprised, you know, I didn't hear more of your book being promoted. And I explained the situation and, and she said, well, I'm going to help you get your rights back so you can do whatever you want to do with this book and perhaps go in a different direction. She said, maybe a movie, 
something where there's more graphics shown about what happens, what happens when your Kundalini divine energy awakens so that mm -hmm. people can see a visual of this. And I said, that's interesting because that's something I've always wanted to do because a, a picture paints a thousand words and you can even have an inner awakening from seeing visually what is actually occurring um, and an understanding too. Um, sure. So I did end up, she did help me get my rights back. And that happened in the latter part of 2020 into 2021. By that time, by Christmas time, I had, I had my rights back. So that's the story of, of the book. And, uh, and I, I have, interestingly enough, when Wayne, uh, when Wayne read from my book, the original mm -hmm. one in Maui at his, workshop that recording was saved and so i have that on my website the front oh, wow. page of wayne reading as it happened that day in january 2014 and what he had to say about it so people can access that right on the front page that's right um, and it's your website is mary um, .com. Yeah, my right. name dot com right mary .com. and i have other uh uh, media uh, recordings of interviews that I've done. That's also available on the website. And if people want to set up an appointment to speak to me personally, um, either about their spiritual uh, questions or about the bioenergetic system of homeopathic medicine that I came into quite in a myst another mystical experience, um, they can contact me from that website. Uh, I know we'll be going over that in the second part. So I'm looking we're forward We're gonna be to going that. over that in the second part. And um, it was quite amazing to me, as you, as you know, with my background in medicine and, and so-called alternative uh, yes. medicine, uh, I was just shocked about my introduction to homeopathic medicine as the bioenergetic medicine mm. and one that uh, we're evolving into as we're evolving, uh, as humanity is evolving into their divine dimension within them, awakening to it. Uh, we're also going to be awakening to uh, an evolution in medicine and an evolution in all fields actually. And we're seeing that happening right now, uh, we're going through enormous transformations in the world uh, mm -hmm. that have just never happened before and especially the spiritual awakenings that are have people are opening up to this dimension within themselves, their consciousness as their true divine nature and being freed from that egoic structure of individuality and separation and fear to move into an extraordinary experience of and reclaiming themselves as Brahman, this ultimate field of omniscience uh, that lives in them as them which is an extraordinary leap. It's not a little leap, it's just an extraordinary leap. And omniscience, you know, omni means above science. So the highest science, the omniscience of one's divine nature and how that is playing out now as we're reclaiming our sovereignty, our bodily sovereignty, our total sovereignty within ourselves. And uh, so I'm gonna be talking about this in part two. So I didn't know where you wanted right. to go from here. Well, uh, let, we'll wrap up uh, this quick addendum and we'll go right into our part two. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Me too. Me too. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is Cindy Gilman and you're listening to Discover Your Potential. So until next time, do something nice for yourself, but do something nice for someone else. <laughs> Is the only music that makes